I didn't know very much about the forest going in, uh, aside from uh, the poster, which I thought was kind of cool, and uh, the initial concept. I didn't watch the trailer. I didn't really look into it at all. I just thought, you know what? I am going to go completely blind on this one. The movie stars Natalie Dormer from Game of Thrones and uh, the Hunger Games movies. She plays a dual role. She plays twin sisters. Most of the movie, she plays Sarah. And her twin, Jess, had gone off to Japan to be a teacher. She has that twin telepathy thing that she can sense when something's wrong with uh, her sibling. She gets a call that her sister has gone missing in a forest in Japan. It's been 48 hours and they can't find her. She looks into it and finds out that her sister was in a forest called Akigahara, which is this huge forest at the base of Mount Fuji. And every year, dozens of people go into the forest with the intent of killing themselves. She senses that her sister's still alive, and so she catches a plane over to Japan to go to the forest and look for her. I like the concept a lot. I thought that there was a lot of potential here. They jumped into it, too. Like, that bit right there was probably, like, the first five, ten minutes of the film. So they really wanted to spend the majority of the film in Japan. While she's there, she's going around, she's asking some questions, and all of this setup was good. I thought it was interesting. It wasn't particularly scary. They threw a few unnecessary boo scares in there. But all in all, I was kind of digging it. Uh, Her first night there, she meets a guy who's a reporter who just so happens to be going through the forest the next day with a guide. He's taking her through the forest specifically because he actually likes her story. He wanted to write about it for the magazine that he works for. Around there is when it kind of derails. They go into the forest and they're looking for the sister, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but you can pretty much guess where things are going to go. They go off the beaten path and bad things happen. The movie felt like some wasted opportunities to me. They had this beautiful forest that they were filming in, and I realize that it's a horror movie, but they color corrected everything that dull gray. Even the parts where they're in the bright daylight and they're traveling through this lush green forest and there's these waterfalls and it's just beautiful and they just muted all the colors and just made everything bland. So I felt like that was such a wasted opportunity because here you had this gorgeous environment and they had some really beautiful shots of the scenery and they made everything look bleh. I thought it would have been a much better juxtaposition if it starts off and it's this really beautiful place, but then when night falls, then everything is just twisted and creepy and weird. But instead, it's like, well, everything's gray, and now everything looks pretty much the same, it's just darker. I liked how they tried to infuse J-Horror into it, and it felt like it was going to go in a good direction. But then they just kept falling back on the same old lazy cliches. Dream scares, boo scares, quiet, quiet, loud noise. All the scares were telegraphed a mile away, so you never felt any kind of tension. There were a lot of lazy jump scares, too. Uh, One where she's walking down the hallway, and you're just waiting for it. You're like, all right, here it comes, here it There was one CGI jump scare towards the end that somebody in the audience made the greatest sound ever. This scare happened, and this girl behind me went, (laughs) Uh, Nellie Dormer, I thought she did a good job doing the uh, dual roles. Oh, there's one big thing. Oh, God. Kind of spoiler. Early on in the film, they're showing parts of the movie through flashback. There's something that Jess, the girl missing in Japan, there's something that she sees. And the other sister, Sarah, she covered her eyes. So she never saw what her sister saw. And this is part of the reason why Jess has always been a little bit messed up because of this thing that she saw when she was younger. And they let you know pretty much what it is. Okay, fine. Then later on in the movie, when Sarah sees what her sister saw, they show it like it's supposed to be some great reveal. And I was just like, well, this would have had a little bit more weight if we wouldn't have already known (laughs) that this happened. So it was like, we're going to show you this. And then an hour later, we're going to show it to you again and act like you didn't see what happened. It killed any kind of surprise that it would have had. Just some bad editing, I guess. It was weird. 
The other thing was uh, they had a few decent practical gore effects. And being that this was PG-13, they cut them very short. So we got glimpses of something kind of cool. And then later on, when uh, they wanted to show us some stuff, they went into heavy CGI territory and just, okay, well, we're going to show you all this because it's not scary at all. And I guess we can get away with it. Just really weak. The forest took a good idea and squandered it through a lot of lazy cliches and unnecessary boo scares mixed with way too much color correction. It's just a shame because I felt like it could have been so much better than it had potential to really be something instead of just this by the numbers horror film. Also, to top it all off, as is the current trend with almost every horror film I'm seeing these days, as everything's winding down, they look into the forest, and you know what's coming. A Bagool scare. So, Bagool! Why? Why did they have to do it? They could have ended it a little bit earlier, or they could have done something different. But no, Bagool! Come on! Stop it! This trend is beyond old at this point. It's stupid. It's annoying. It's happening all the time. And it's not scary. The audience openly laughed at what was supposed to be your big scare to end the film. They laughed. That's not good. Knock it off. Well, The Forest. Eh, don't see it in the theater. More than likely, uh, it's probably not going to be in the theater very long anyway. I'm curious to see if when it comes out on home video, if it's an unrated cut, I might give it another shot simply because I'd like to see if they actually show a little bit more of the stuff that was cut, but it's not going to do much to change the very by the numbers story. Even with this great setup and great location, they somehow managed to make it dull and that's a shame. I think this bothers me more than when a movie is just flat out bad. When a movie has wasted its potential. That really bums me out. I was enjoying parts of it, but I wasn't scared. I was willing to give it a pass because the concept was so strong. But as it kept going, it kept tripping over itself and doing more dumb shit. And just ended up being very disappointing. The Forest is yet another PG-13 not scary pile of mediocrity.